Welcome. In front of me is a Qbot King Kong Mini 3, and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. So, to get started, I am going to quickly mention you can see that the device is locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it, and I can also use the Google account to unlock it in that manner. So to get started with the bypass, we're going to begin uh, with the first page. Now you do want to be connected to network. So progress through the setup, sign into your Wi-Fi, and then you can go back to the first page, select vision settings, and then talk back and enable it. You also might want to mute the sound. Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to talk back. As you can see, it is pretty loud and obnoxious, so I do recommend muting it or at least turning down the volume. Next, on here, you want to draw a mirrored L like this. And next, we will. We want to select. Um, we're using the app, then double tap on it. Then select use voice commands by tapping on it. And then before you double tap on it, I am going to quickly mention what we need to say because this will need to be audibly told to the device. And the two commands that we will be using is, uh, let me quickly catch up where that is. Um, open Google Assistant, and then we're going to say open YouTube. So the first one will be open Google Assistant, which is after the first beep where the device starts listening to you. And then you will see the Google uh, Google kind of pop up and that will start listening to you and you want to follow up with open YouTube. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening web page. So uh, that's all we needed to do. Um, as you can see, it, instead of opening up YouTube, it, uh, it does take us to our web browser, which is fine. So next thing we need to do is suspend our talkback because uh, let's be honest, selecting each option by tapping on it and double tapping to confirm it is a bit annoying. So to suspend it, you want to hold volume up and volume down. gonna select turn on and then double tap and then hold it again tap back on. and now we can use our display normally so on the browser you want to select accept and continue and no thanks and then in the search bar you're gonna navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass I think I typed in everything correctly I guess I'll find out in a second yep I did so in here uh, you want to Continue with recommended, I guess. No, I don't want to open up a new tab, whatever I tapped on. So in here, we're going to scroll down to settings. I'm going to click on it. Next, we're going to, in our settings, go to apps and the notifications. See all 33 apps or however many it shows for you. And start off with Android setup, which is for me a second application. Here you want to select force stop and OK, and then go back. And next thing we're looking is uh, Google Play Services. So just scroll down and go Google Play Services. And here we're going to select a disable, disable app and force stop and OK. You also might want to like completely muted. Uh, what the sound was is the notification because uh, right now the device is failing to connect to the Google Play Services server. Um, and because of that, it just starts spamming you with this noise because it's continuously trying to communicate with Google, uh, which obviously kind of shows you how much privacy you have if this is how often it's trying to do uh, that. Anyway, next thing, uh, we're gonna go back to the main settings page right here. And we want to now uh, go to the accessibility. So it's going to be, oops, right here, accessibility. And you want to enable accessibility menu. So right here, toggle it on, allow, and got it. 
Okay, so we have now disabled setup, Google Play services, and enabled accessibility mini. Next thing we want to do is just simply go back. There we go. Now, once you're back in the setup, you want to now progress forward. So we're gonna select skip right here. So we're gonna click somewhere outside of this pop-up. And here you're looking for the option to be visible, just don't click it, uh, the option to set it up offline. If you have that visible, that's good. We can progress further uh, by interacting with the accessibility menu now. So I'm gonna click on that. Then you wanna select assistant settings if it pops up and enable. Now for me, this went super smooth. I just want to point out that this might not be the case for every one of you. You might be repeating this process a dozen times before you can actually enable it. So just be patient and just know that this isn't necessarily the way you might experience this. This is more of an oddity. Um, for me, most of the time I need to repeat it at least 20 times before I can manage to enable this option. And for the most part, it is down to speed because by normally, for some reason that didn't happen right here. Normally uh, these pages do close and the device just always tries to go back to the Wi-Fi page. So it's gonna try try to constantly close all of that pop-up. So when you cl click on the accessibility menu and assistant, the settings option might not uh, always show up. When it does, it might disappear. When you click on it, it opens up this page and this page might just close on its own. If you have this kind of experience, just know that this is normal and you just want to repeat it, keep on repeating this process till you manage to enable it. Once you do so, you can then back out, click somewhere on the screen to get rid of the assistant. And from here, uh, we're gonna now select setup offline and continue. And now we can finish up the actual setup of the device. Now, I want to point out one thing. The reason we didn't do that right from the get go, uh, we didn't select setup offline is because the device uh, didn't have access to the Google servers. So the play servers uh, were turned off. That's what we turned on right here. And when those services are off, the device knows that it's locked, but it wants to check what kind of lock it probably has. So when you try to set it up offline, it's it's kind of checking like, but, but I'm locked, but I can't check it. So it just won't let you. But the moment it has access to Google Play services, uh, by this point, it already should have the, uh, it already should have checked that you shouldn't be able to set it up offline. So when it has Google Play services and we have connected to network and yet the option is still visible because we glitched it, it considers the fact that everything checks out, uh, you should be able to go forward. And that's kind of what happens. Now, uh, we're still not done with the setup. So there's one last uh, thing that we need to do to fully unlock the device. And that is navigate to the settings. Scroll all the way down to system or reset options. Erase all data, factory reset, erase all data and click on that button once again. Now, I won't be going through this on the video just because this is a fully automatic process. Once you press on the button, it begins factory resetting it. Uh, but the reason you want to do this is to get rid of anything that is left over. We still have the protection on the device, but performing a reset through settings will get rid of that. Now, one more thing that I'm going to add for people that might be a little bit more keen eyed. Uh, we had settings open before when we disabled the Google Play services and all that stuff. And we did technically have access to resetting the device uh, back then. Uh, but again, this goes back to the device uh, knowing that it's locked. If I were to go from that point before uh, and reset it, it would check before the reset that the device is locked and once the reset is finished, it would just stay locked. But now when we are already fully set up, the device already finished up the setup, it should consider this when you're doing this reset through settings, it considers it at, as a just a normal user doing a reset of the device, which is just nothing wrong with that. And when doing so, with the device being unlocked, supposedly, it removes all the protection, even the one that we can't not, can't see right now, which would be the screen lock and Google account that was used as a verification method on this device that we might not have known. So that's why you want to do the reset uh, right here as a last step. But with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.